Yo, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Wi-Fi K699B microphone. Um, I'm going to be recording this whole video using the microphone with filters added in Streamlabs. I can show you that uh, comparison of them later on. Going to make a separate video with how to make this microphone sound better in Streamlabs or OBS, the same thing. Then I can definitely do that after this video. Just let me know in the comments down below. Now, I've recently started making similar videos like this on my YouTube channel. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you like this video, please like the video and enjoy the video. Straight from the mail, this box is very simple and clean. It's a all white box and the top says Fi-Fi technology on it. Nothing special going on, no like um, specs on the outside of the box or anything like that. Now opening up the box, there are two things. The first on top being a pretty much just a thank you letter from Five Fine saying like thank you for buying our products. Here's where you can find more information as well as leave a review, stuff like that. And you have the user manual is very complex. It tells you everything you need to know about this microphone, like how to set it up, um, where you can go to get the latest drivers for the microphone and stuff like that. Now onto the box. Removing the foam reveals the actual microphone itself. Um, it comes nicely packaged with foam. There's not going to be any shipping damage caused to it. Um, it does have a um, wire that is not detachable. And it also comes with a built-in like adapter to connect to any kind of boom arm, which is always a nice feature. And deeper into the box, you can find the tripod, which is also nicely packaged. The little tripod stand is made out of fully plastic material. It has rubber feet to prevent it from sliding anywhere. It is very, very cheap and it can easily fall over if you're not careful about it, if you're not watching, so keep that in mind. Now, as I said earlier, the microphone has a built-in little connector screw that you can put onto boom arms or stands like this. So all you have to do is just screw it right on and you should be fine. The gain or volume knob is very, very linear. It is very smooth. It's not tactile at all. Um, so if you go, if you turn it counterclockwise, it lowers the volume. If you turn it clockwise, it raises the volume. If you turn it all the way down and it pretty much just mutes it. If you turn it all the way up, that's the highest that the microphone will allow you to go. Now, one very nice thing that FiFine did, which I love about this microphone, is that the cord is six feet long. Like it's just a pain to get it to connect to your PC, but this just, unless your PC is like across your room, is going to be able to fit in your computer. Here's some specs for y'all nerds. Has a frequency of 50 hertz to 20,000 hertz, max SVO at 130 decibels, polar pattern of cardioid, meaning it only picks up the front and sides of the microphone. It weighs just under 400 grams and has USB 2.0 connectivity. Most of y'all have no idea what any of that means. So anyways, um, for the pros and cons of this microphone, to begin with the pros, it's a plug and play USB microphone. Has a very long six foot cable, so you won't have any trouble plug plugging it into your PC. Comes with a tripod and a very, very smooth uh, volume knob. It works on PS PC, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. For the cons, it's made of a pretty cheap metal. So if you're going to be raging a lot, I would stay away from smashing this microphone. Maybe go smash your controller or something else. Uh, you know who I'm talking to. Um, the stand really isn't that stable. So you can easily like tip over if you're not careful or if you accidentally hit it. Um, the cable is kind of on the cheap end. It's definitely not as high quality, but I understand why they went with a cheaper one to save down on costs. The cable is not detachable, which is a big deal. If it breaks, then you pretty much have to replace the entire microphone. It is not compatible with Xbox or phones, which is a very big deal, especially for your Xbox players. Okay, now for a sound test. I have the Fifine K699B on a boom arm. I would recommend you get that as well because the tripod, again, like I said earlier in the video, is very, very cheap and it's a low quality. Plus, if you have like your keyboard next to it, that definitely pick up a lot of sound noise. So this is me talking with the filters on Streamlabs OBS with this microphone. And this is me talking with the filters off. I'm about half a foot away from the microphone right now and my pc fans are a little bit loud right now so i wonder how much that picks it up so this is a raw test without any filters just a mic plugged it straight into my computer and this is how it sounds right now so i do have a pop filter on this just to make it sound better so i'm gonna take that off right now this is how it sounds puh, 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 puh. usually a pop filter gets rid of those puh sounds so like peter piper had a 
take over. I don't know how it goes, but again, this is a raw test. And this is currently a max gain, so right now I'm gonna turn it down to about half gain. This is how it sounds now with the gain about halfway on. And if I wanna turn it even quieter, then it gets to the point. So once you turn it back up, then it's obviously not muted anymore. Now for the final verdict. Would I recommend this microphone? The short answer is yes. However, if you have an extra five or so dollars, I'd definitely save up towards a Fifine Amplicane microphone because it features RGB, it has a shock mount, and it overall just has a better sound quality. But if you only have, let's say, $25 when this goes on sale or usually about $30 regular price, then I would definitely pick up this microphone. Let's wrap it up for this video. This was not sponsored by Fifine. I just really like this microphone and I felt like making a review on it. So check out my other videos on my channel and see you next one. Have a good day. Goodbye.